Hi there, and welcome to our video on how to trade at Bybit. After watching this video, you will know everything you need to know on how to trade at Bybit. Covering topics from spot and futures trading, market and limit orders, take profit and stop loss setting, leverage, and much, much more. I am Jonas, co-founder and CEO of Hogtrade, the behavioral trading analytics platform for active traders. I guide you through the video with plenty of real trades for you to follow. We will cover quite a few things in this video, so feel free to jump to the chapter which interests you the most. If you're a new trader at Bybit, it will be best to watch the whole video from the beginning, as we cover quite a lot of basics on how to trade at Bybit. First, we will cover spot trading and execute an example market order. Second, we will execute a futures trade with a limit order. Third, I will show you how to adjust your leverage in futures trading. Fourth, we set a take profit and stop loss. Fifth, we have a look at how to execute a coin margin versus a USD margin trade. And last, I show you how to reconcile all your past trades by looking at the order history of Bybit. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I am logged into my Bybit account and first we want to perform a spot trade. Spot trade means you exchange one currency for another currency. We have some USDT on the account and let's say we would like to buy some Bitcoin with it. If you want to transfer crypto from or to Bybit, we have made a separate video on it. I link it up here for you and also put the link down below in the description. In the upper navigation bar, we find the Trade tab here and select Spot Trading. This brings us to the following page. As a first step, we will find the correct trading pair we want to trade. As said, we want to buy Bitcoin with our USDT. We click on the current trading pair selected on the top left and the search window for trading pairs pops up. We make sure we have USDT selected and find the Bitcoin pair. There is quite some information on this page, but it's actually quite easy. So let's go step by step. Let's have a look at the right here at the trade input mask. We want to buy Bitcoin with a market order first. So we make sure buy is selected and also market order is selected here. We will do a limit order later on when trading futures. For a market order, you buy the Bitcoin at the best available price. While in the limit order, you specify for which price you would buy the Bitcoin and the trade will only get executed if someone is willing to trade with you at the price you specified. The fees for those different orders differ a lot, either being the maker or the taker on the trade. As this is so important and can have a big effect on your performance, we also made a separate video on it. Again, i link it here and also put the link down in the description. Now, let's say we want to buy Bitcoin for 5 USDT. We go to the order value field here and type in the amount 5. As a last step, we only have to click on the green Buy BTC button. Confirm again and that's it already. We've bought the Bitcoin through a spot market order. Because it was a market order, it is directly executed. What is also interesting to see here is the fees we paid for this trade. To see it, we scroll down and go to the Trade History tab. We can see the market order we just executed and can also see the fee for this transaction. It is low as we just swapped 5 USD, but for larger trades it can be significant amounts. Spot taker trades are charged at 0.1% in the lowest tier, which is low to average compared to other exchanges in the lowest tier. You can find a detailed analysis on the fees and tier levels at Bybit up here and I also put the link down below in the description. We deep dive into the fees for both spot and futures trading as well as for large and low volume traders. As a second step, let's perform a USDM futures trade now with a limit order. In order to trade futures at Bybit, we go to the derivatives tab in the upper navigation and select USDT futures. Bybit also offers to trade USDC futures. 
However, volume and liquidity is usually better on the USDT futures. Hence, I prefer to trade those. Just as before, we select the correct trading asset first. In our case, the BTC USDT Perpetual. Click on the trading pair, select USDT Perpetual and find the Bitcoin one. Here you can actually also see what I just meant with the volume. The USDT Perpetual has much more volume in the last 24 hours compared to the USDC Perpetual. For both spot and futures trading, our trading terminal looks the same. With a few differences, I'll explain to you why we perform the next trade. If you want to trade either spot or futures at Bybit, I put a special sign up link in the comments, which will give you an additional bonus if signing up through that link. Okay, so let's perform a USDM maker trade. So through a limit order. We have already selected the correct trading pair for our USDM trade. As we want to perform a limit order, we have to specify a price and amount of Bitcoin we want to buy at this price. Let's say we want to buy 0.001 Bitcoin, so going long. When trading futures, we could also short sell Bitcoin. We would just have to click the open short button down here instead of the open long button later. In US dollar terms, this 0.001 Bitcoin buy is actually more than what we have on the wallet. But as we can use up to 100 times leverage with the current setting, we can perform trades much larger than our margin. Now, we have to specify a price we are willing to buy the 0.001 Bitcoin for. For this example, we just set it just below the current market price, so hopefully it will be executed soon. The last step is now to click on open long, confirm and wait for our trade to be executed. We can see down here that our order is now listed in the active tab at the bottom of the page. If we want, we could adjust or cancel this order here as well. Now our order is executed and we can see it here under positions. As this is just for showcasing, we can actually choose now how to close this order. We could either close it through another limit order, so specifying the price again, or close it through a market order, meaning it is executed right away. Let's close it with a market order. To do so, we just click on the market bucket button, check that we chose 100% as we want to close the whole order and confirm to sell. And done, our order is closed. Next, Let's have a look how we can adjust our leverage at Bybit. To do so, we take a look at the trade input mask again. To adjust our leverage, we just click on the little arrow here where you can see your current leverage for short and long trades. This pops up this window and we can select the margin we wish to use for our account, both for long and short trades. We can adjust the leverage for long and short trades separately an option not many exchanges give you. Leverage decides how much margin we need to open the position. Margin here means that in order to buy or sell a token worth 100 US dollar, for example, you will need one US dollar as margin or collateral in order to execute this trade in case using 100 times leverage. If you do not have enough margin anymore, your trade will be automatically liquidated. Currently, for Bybit futures, you can use up to 100 times leverage for USDT futures and 125 times leverage for USDC futures, which is quite high compared to other exchanges. In point 4 of this video, let's have a look at setting a take profit and stop loss for your trade. This is extremely important for traders as it guards you from large losses. Good traders always know how much they would be willing to lose at max with a trade, and this will decide their stop loss. By setting one, they make sure they are not going to lose more. Absolutely critical in a good risk and money management system. At Hawk Trade, we even developed an analysis how well you set your take profits and stop losses, and check if you could on average improve your performance in case you set them a bit tighter or further away. Hocktrade is actually designed for traders with a bit of experience already, which really want to deep dive in their trading. 
find improvement potentials towards profitability and take their trading to the next level. However, we also encourage new traders to start tracking their behaviors right from the beginning as it makes their learning process much, much more efficient. As an active trader, there are many biases, emotions and traps you may tap into, leading to continuous trading losses. This is where behavioral analytics comes into play. So you exactly understand what type of trading behaviors you have that keep making you losses, but also understand in what type of situations you gain on average. You may overtrade your account, not being able to focus on your currently open positions, revenge trade after a loss, so trying to make up your losses very quickly without having a clear mind again when entering the market, or keep trading during very high market volatility, which is very difficult, while you actually make good profits during low volatility. Those and the other 40 plus Patterns hog trade tracks are pretty common, but only few traders actually know about and work on them to improve their trading. Many traders rather tend to try finding a better indicator or signal provider, but trading success is actually much more about yourself, your behaviors and emotions. If you're interested, feel free to join our Discord server. All information and updates about hog trade will be there. You can ask questions and discuss with our community of traders. The link is in the description of the video. Now back to setting your take profit and stop loss at Bybit. The trading software of Bybit is actually very intuitive when it comes to setting your take profit and stop loss compared to other exchanges. If we look at the trade input mask, we can select the buy long with TPSL or sell short with TPSL. Like this, we can right away set the take profit and stop loss before even entering the trade. We can add a take profit and a stop loss to an ongoing current position as well. If you have a trade that is not yet executed, you can click the plus add sign or for a position that is currently open, you have the same plus add sign over here, which allows you to add the take profit and stop loss levels. We could also set a trigger order by selecting conditional option here. So our take profit and stop loss can be executed as a market order instead of a limit order. But this is more advanced and beyond the content of this video. If you are interested in some of this more advanced trading at Bybit, also discussing the upsides and downsides, for example, of stop loss and take profit with trigger orders as market versus limit orders or anything else, let us know down in the comment. We would love to hear the content you are interested in. Point five of this video is about coin margin versus USD margin trades at Bybit. So far we have performed USD margin trades. So let's have a look how we can perform coin margin trades. The difference between USD margin and coin margin futures is their base currency. Coin margin futures are settled in their base currency, so in case of a Bitcoin perpetual, this is Bitcoin. Trading a Bitcoin coin margin future, you can just hold Bitcoin in your account and use this as your collateral. If you are bullish on Bitcoin long term and would like to hold this as collateral, this might be the better option for you. On the other hand, USD margin futures are settled in US dollar. Note that the market depth and volume of coin margin futures is oftentimes lower though. Nevertheless, coin margin futures have their upside. So let's have a look how you can perform trades in those. To trade them at Bybit, we go back to the trading pair navigation here on the top left and find the inverse category. If we want to trade Bitcoin, we choose the Bitcoin perpetual here below. Right now, I already have some Bitcoin on my derivatives account, which can use as collateral for that trade. Note that you need Bitcoin to trade the CoinM Bitcoin Perpetual, while you need Ethereum on your derivatives wallet if you want to trade the Ethereum CoinM future. To transfer, we can just go to our wallet by finding Assets in the top navigation and select the derivatives wallet. Here we can easily transfer the crypto between our wallets. 
Bybit is actually introducing a unified wallet, so you don't have to transfer among wallets anymore. But I do not have this activated yet. Let's go back to the trading window. The process to trade coin and futures is pretty much the same as in the USD margin futures. We can select limit or market order, enable stop loss and take profits. The only difference is that the default option is to put the trade volume in USD now, not in BTC. We could select BTC as well though. For this example, let's have another market order and short sell 10 USD worth of Bitcoin. We click place sell short and we are in the trade. I close it right away again with another market order. Whether trading coin margin or USD margin futures is a preference and may be influenced by your trading strategy. Personally, I trade more USD margin futures as it's easier in handling and usually volume, market depths and spreads are better. But this depends on the trader. You know now how to trade both. Last but not least, let's reconcile the trades we just did and see where you can find all the information on your past trades. In order to do so, we click on the order navigation tab in the upper navigation bar and next select derivatives orders. In the left navigation, we find trade history and here we can see the CoinM trades we just did. What is especially interesting in this view is that we can also see the fees we paid for those trades. As already touched upon earlier in this video, the fees can make quite a big difference for traders, oftentimes deciding whether a trader is profitable or not. The fees among exchanges differ significantly, so traders should always be aware of how much fees they actually pay and whether they could save fees. With so many exchanges and different fee levels in all the tier levels, a manual comparison is pretty much impossible. So it's best to use a tool such as Dr. Fee. Here you can just enter your trading volume in spot and futures trading, your share of maker and taker trades, your balance and holding of the native exchange token, and then within seconds, see exactly how much fees you would pay for those trades at all the large exchanges. Even in an example like this, with only 200,000 US dollar spot volume and 2 million US dollar futures volume, mostly still being in the lowest tier level at the different exchanges, the savings add up to many thousand US dollar per year. In this example, the trader would pay more than 18,000 US dollar per year in fees at Bitfinex, while only paying roughly 9.4k at Crypto.com. If you want to check your own fees as well, I put the link to Dr. Fee also down below in the description. Alright, if you think you got some valuable information from this video, we would highly appreciate if you leave us a like and subscribe to our channel. We continue to develop lots of content for traders, both beginners and advanced. If you have things that interest you, Leave us a comment, we're happy to take suggestions for things that interest you all about trading crypto. Thank you for watching, stay safe and happy trading! Please be aware that we at Hocktrade are no financial advisor. This video is for entertainment purpose only.